I snatched it by the tail, and then I held it up like a like a prize, you know. Like, look, ah, ah, and the otter's going crazy. It was no laughing matter at the moment, I'll guarantee you that, right? A News Channel 8 exclusive, a Tampa Bay mother tackles an otter to protect her family. Yeah, this aggressive otter, I mean, they look cute, but don't be fooled. These otters can be aggressive, and he's still out there somewhere, and residents are told to be on high alert. Our Polk County Bureau reporter, Stacey De Silva, joining us live from Lakeland. Uh, they say this is rare, but my, oh my, when it happened. What a story, right, Keith? Absolutely. It is rare for an aggressive otter to attack people like this, but it happened. It came out of this water and into this house. And officials say, experts say, the otter was not acting normal. My husband's like, Kate, you just, like, alligator wrangled an otter in the living room. An otter learns you don't mess with a mother's instincts. I think life is full of surprises, and you should just be ready for whatever. This wild story starts after 17-year-old Gwen Ewart let their dog Scooter out before dawn Tuesday morning. Scooter had found an enemy. Like, sprints to the back door, and I opened the door, and I was like, Scooter! And he, like, all I saw was, like, a like a big, like, blindfold, like, all over the place. And so he, like, stumbled in the door, and then I tried to shut it as fast as possible. But then, like, the otter got stuck. By this time, the whole house is awake, and Gwen's mother, Christina, bursts in. And he and the dog are in a big, tangled tumbleweed. <laughs> Spinning around in here. Then mom handles business. I grabbed it, and this is the chair. I walked by this chair, and I was like, somebody open the door, screaming with it. And it grabbed on and was like, <laughs> pulling the chair back. And I was like, <laughs> Casina tosses the otter outside and discovers it had bitten her daughter. After the fact, like, I lifted up my pant leg and my... You know, my leg was shaking and there was drips of blood all over the floor. Several rabies shots later and Gwen and Scooter are on the mend. Now, Florida Fish and Wildlife is trying to find the otter. A neighbor took this video of an otter in the area later that day. I hope he comes up right now in front of me. We call Dustin Hooper of All Creatures Wildlife Control. If it happens, just hold my sunglasses. He tells Eight on Your Side he's never seen an otter act like this. See, anytime an otter's on shore going for a human, there's something not right. Usually they see you, they're gone. So Hooper gave the Ewarts his business card and said they can call him at any time if they see the audio come 24-7. Fish and Wildlife is looking in the area, too, here in South Lakeland off Pipkin Road. There are reports that the otter may have attacked another dog, so there are concerns that the otter could attack something if it is not found, so it is urgent to find this otter. Yeah, no, serious stuff, but boy, kudos to mom there. You can grab that thing out the house it goes. Good for her. <laughs> Stacey I mean, De Silva, live in Lakeland. Thank you.